Hi, my name is Richard Harbage. I'm a Microsoft MVP, and I wanted to talk about loop components and why they're so exciting. Two Lead is a remote first company based out of Canada. What makes a world class Microsoft 365 intranet and digital workplace? If you don't know about Microsoft Loop, it's a pretty powerful thing. It allows us to edit in real time the same record together. Now that record or that component could be something simple like a table. And the reason this benefits us is because back in the day we used to send files back and forth. Then we got smarter and I sent you a link to a file and you'd make edits to that file, maybe we even co-author together. But if you're like me, sometimes you may take like a, a, a table in that file and you put it inside the email and you say, for your reference, for ease of reference, you know, here's this, and then you put a link to the file. Well, that table that's in that email, right, the email table, is now out of date, right? Because maybe we ch make changes to the document after that. And now that email, if anyone ever forwards that or sees that, is no longer accurate or up to date. And that's a bit of a problem. Now, what loop does is it makes it so that might be a component instead and when I put it in the email that components the actual same component that might be in say the office application or there might be the same component that's in uh, teams or other places that we were working and now that's always up to date it's always in sync and that's a really powerful promise for a better collaboration experience on a component level and that's different than what we've had in the past this is a this is a new paradigm and it allows for greater uh, you know variety, uh, greater velocity uh, for collaboration especially. And that velocity is important because if you don't know, collaboration is a hard place right now. It's more demanding to be, you know, higher velocity, faster, you know, more rapid, to scale better across collaboration. You know, we, we collaborate more and we collaborate with more people, so we have to have tools that enable us to do that. Microsoft Loop is one of those. Now a loop component is essentially where we build our own version of that, specifically often to integrate with other systems or to store data in the, in the like a format and style that we want. So let's use a simple example. Microsoft in their uh, previous demonstrations, they've shown an example where they have a Microsoft sales opportunity and you and I can edit that sales opportunity. That's useful because instead of linking me to CRM, maybe I'm not a CRM person, I'm just trying to fill out something or help you out, I don't really know how to navigate CRM, so you're taking me to another experience it's it's confusing there's a lot there I don't know if you've ever been to a CRM system if you're not a, a salesperson there's, there's a lot of stuff there and all you really want to do is modify like two little items right you want to add a note you want to do something simple like that so having a more streamlined interface that's designed around a card uh, which is what a loop component is is makes sense uh, fundamentally because it makes it more streamlined and easy for me to collaborate. But it's also quite useful because um, that is a, a active record where co-authoring is enabled, often in systems that, while they're web-based or whatever, and might have co-authoring as, as capabilities, they're not really a core, right? The core of the capability isn't co-authoring. So here, what's really beneficial about that is now I can make changes, I can insert that into an email, I can do other things like that, um, like, like my pricing table example. Maybe my pricing table information comes from uh, SAP or comes from other an ERP system. That's not a problem now. I can actually create a loop component, point to that data, right? Um, and have that like a real-time uh, accessible layer where then that, you know, table's always up to date and and is collaborative, which is a pretty powerful uh, uh, opportunity for a lot of organizations. And so depending on which systems we're integrating with, this means that we can really reduce complexity, we can enable new forms of collaboration uh, that are you know, much more rapid and, uh, and meant for the higher velocity challenges of today. So, um, so yeah, I'm very excited about Microsoft Loop Components. You know, if you have adaptive cards and you want to upgrade them and evolve them into Loop Components, you're already set. If you're not, uh, you know, doing that already today or thinking about Loop, maybe June 2022 when this goes live and uh, you have the opportunity as an organization to start to build your own Loop Components, maybe this is the right time for you to explore it as an organization and see how can we take you know, Microsoft uh, Loop and our organization further uh, forward when it comes to collaboration by connecting systems, uh, connecting experiences, and simplifying things. Thank you.